Listen guys, I, I've bought a used lens, new lens, and I will tell you the reason why I bought that lens. And I bought a Minolta lens, Minolta 2880 with, with f3.5 to 5.6. And this is a lens with a mount, an old star, old, old school a Minolta autofocus lens from 90, early 1990s. And why is so important? This is a macro lens. Because as you know, I use one lens with an E mode, that's a Samyang uh, 14 uh, f2.8, uh, which is a pretty nice ultra wide lens. It's ultra wide because it's 40 millimeters. So it's a pretty great and it's not very heavy. It's only about 250 gram, and my camera is 250 gram. So it's a pretty great connection. The problem with uh, lenses is first, Lenses with E mount to mirrorless camera are much much bigger than the lenses with A mount. So this is this is this really weird thing to say. DSLRs are bigger, but they have a smaller lens and li lighter lens. Mirrorless camera are usually much much smaller, and but the lenses are much bigger because they use a different mount. A mount is for a, a DSLR and E mount is for mirrorless. <coughs> But you can you can make uh, a connection, and you can use a mirrorless camera with a DSLR uh, lens. You just need an adapter, a small adapter to uh, with an autofocus motor inside, and then with two mounts: E mount on the side of uh, from the side of camera from a body, and A mount from the side of the lens, which is possible to to connect and use it. The problem is this is not. No possible different way to use a mirrorless uh, lens with a DSLR body. This is not possible, there are no adapters for that, because it's optically not possible in a technical way. But what we can do? Most zoom lens with a good light, I mean a lens like a Samyang 35-150 zoom lens with, eight, uh, with a light uh, 2.8, uh, uh, two, from 2.0 to to, uh, to 2.8 or 20, uh, something like 24 to uh, 80 with a um, light uh, uh, to 0 to 8 are very very heavy because they are from 500 gram to even 1 kilogram so they are very heavy lenses and if you use um, uh, my magnesium uh, body like a Sony A7, Sony A9, Sony A1, Sony A7 Mark 3, Mark 4. The, the, it's still okay to use a very heavy lens with that. But if you have a, a body made by plastic, like a ZV-E1, ZV-E10, it's too he much, much too heavy. Especially this body is made for a video, not for a photo. And these lenses are very, very heavy. They have a lot of mirrors inside, and that's a uh, it's not uh, the best idea. So I've decided to use one lens with an uh, emote. This uh, Samyang 40mm uh, f2.8. And I have also one, two, three, four, four, five lenses with uh, old A mode. I bought a special adapter, Sony LA EA5. This lens adapter E mode to A mode generation 5 version 5 and I have a 24 millimeter with a f2.8 prime lens second prime lens which is a fifth is a Minolta 50 millimeter with f1.7 then I have 35 35 70 millimeter a standard zoom lens with a f4.5 and a longer zoom lens 70 to 200 a millimeter with um, 5.6 and i decided to buy another lens another zoom lens a macro lens to be honest i don't make a uh, macro photos very often and i don't make a uh, macro videos very often but i I've, I've seen on a flow mart the white lens which is a uh, minolta minolta 2470 Sorry, 2480, 2480, uh, macro lens with A mode, and this is a really great lens to make a macro shooting. 
to make a macho shooting the macho videos especially when you have a very good light outside so if you want to make a butterfly photo if you want to make photo of a post stamp if you want to make a photo of uh, something which is very very close to camera and you need to make a focus on that it's a very really great idea to buy this type of lens especially then I paid 30 euros for that on the floor market I buy I bought that Minolta lens for 30 euros so 30 euros for the lens it's an it's amazing price it's definitely an amazing price uh, and where, where you can buy this type of old Minolta lenses you can buy in Poland on Allegro in Germany, we, you can go to a flow mart. In Berlin, there's a flow mart on Strasse, there's Zipsy in Uni. You can go to a flow mart, and on a flow mart, you can buy this Minolta lens. They are very popular. Then you just need to be careful because Minolta use one, two, three, mm, they use four types of mounts. And first thing, they are manual mounts, which was used until, to, until uh, 18, uh, until. 1985 and uh, until 1985 there's a uh, minolta mc and minolta md mode this is analog mode so there's no autofocus with that but there are adapters to that and you can use this uh, uh, lenses on a modern bodies but you need to make manual focus by hand the manual focus lenses then you can uh, find minolta autofocus autofocus uh, af which is called a mode this can be used on dslr without on sony dslr without uh, adapter or on sony mirrorless with adapter and then the newest that's a sony e mode e mode is uh, exactly this new style new style connector for a uh, mirrorless camera but the lenses are heavier and much more expensive Heavier, bigger, and more expensive, but you need to be careful because in a Sony A mount, there are three types of autofocus. You have an old motor, which is called screwdriver motor, and you have two uh, two type of supersonic supersonic motor for the autofocus. The older, which is not uh, compatible now, and the newer, which is compatible. So you need to be careful. Why? Because you need a special adapter to that lens, and there are five type, five, six type of adapters. And you have definitely this uh, Sony LIEA adapters from one to five. You have version one, version two, version three, version four, four with a mode, and a five. On the first version, it's only for the APS-C camera with supersonic motor. Number two, APS-C camera with supersonic or stru older screwdriver lenses. Number three, full frame camera, but only with, with supersonic lens. And number four, which is the original EA4 adapter, you can use supersonic uh, lenses and you can use no, supersonic lenses is number four, and some screwdriver lenses, not all. But there's a special modification, third party modification, not authorized by Sony, that you can change the main board from that, which is inside that uh, adapter, and then you'll be able to use old screwdriver lens, but there will be no compatibility with a new screwdriver and no compatibility with supersonic motor so you have to choose between compatibility with new supersonic on the full frame or compatibility with old screwdriver you can have two adapters ea3 for a supersonic and um, ea ea4 mod for the old screwdriver but you have no compatibility with a new screwdriver but, but you can buy two la la ea4 uh, adapters and one used with original mainboard and the second change a mainboard for the mod modification so it will be compatible with older. The only problem is that LAEA4 with modification for the older survival lens works only in the photo, it doesn't work in a video. But how you can use the older survival lens 
with a video. There's a there's a new um, lens adapter which is called LIEA5, and this LIEA5 is pretty great because it works with old, with a new supersonic motor, older supersonic motor, newer screwdriver, older screwdriver lenses, all type of Minolta A mode lenses works in a video mode in LIEA5. The only problem which is in LIEA5, you need to have a new body. You need, you need to use a new um, Sony A7 Mark III, Mark, Mark IV, Mark V, um, Sony A9, Sony A1, Sony ZV E10, Sony ZV E1, but there's no compatibility with uh, A7 Mark I and A7 Mark II. So, um, if you want to use an old body, um, which, uh, A7 Mark One or A7 Mark Two, you will need to use the older adapter. You cannot use adapter Mark Five, version Five. You can only use uh, Mark uh, version Four, and then you will need to have two adapters for the older and newer type of lenses. So, if you have an uh, older camera uh, like Sony A7 uh, Mark One or Mark Two with a full frame. You will need to buy two adapters to use ammo lenses, then and only you will be able to use it in a photo mode. So that's a problem. How which lens use with a with a mode on a so the A7 Mark One and Mark Two? Probably it will be cheaper and better to to use a e mode bigger lenses on them with this camera. So you will have to pay more, and the lenses will be bigger uh, on this uh, first generation of a full frame uh, mirrorless camera. But if you have something newer like A7 Mark III, Mark IV, or ZV-E1, or you have decided that it's not the best idea to uh, pay a lot of money for uh, uh, lenses to the to the older uh, bodies like A7 Mark I, Mark II, uh, and you decided it's a good, a good time to change your body to a newer one to use newer adapter and have wider option of choosing lenses then you can choose to a newer body uh, you will have to change battery from a NP FW50 to NP FZ100 uh, you have to buy new chargers so that's uh, that's complicated but it's, it's a good idea to invest money and go from a A7 Mark 1 or Mark 2 to a newer body because so, then you need you will be able to use a, a lens adapter LIEA5 and with LIEA5 you will have a huge option of lens older lenses to use in the video mode which is not possible in the older so in the older even if you will buy LIEA4 you will be able to use older lens only in a photo mode so if you want to make a video shooting you will have to change your change body. And why I've decided to buy that lens? I know, 30 euros. If I will have to pay a few hundred euros or a few thousand euros to buy a new lens for a macro uh, shooting, no. I, I, don't, I don't earn money on a, on a macro photos. I earn money on the videos, on the YouTube. I earn money on a, on a YouTube, too, so I need a um, white really wide lenses like a Simon 40mm or Minolta 24 or just a standard lens, uh, standard prime lens 50mm. This is the most important for me. So I, I paid all, almost 200 euros for a um, 50mm lens. But uh, it's a good idea to invest for a stuff on which you earn money. This is why I decided to buy ZV E1 a body and I've moved from a Sony A7 Mark I to ZV E1 and I paid 3,000 3, euros, 3, euros for that body and I've now there's a new type uh, of battery NP FZ, uh, FZ100 that's uh, the, same, the same which is in the A7 Mark III and Mark IV that I will have to buy uh, seven batteries, I will have to buy a few chargers, then I will have to buy a lot of stuff but I've decided this is a good idea to move on to a new quality because in ZV-E1 it's a much, much better quality of videos. But I earn money on YouTube, so this is the normal thing. But I've, I've seen that, okay, I can invest 
30 euros just for the used lens to make a macro shooting because this is the price of the burger for the lens and then I can make some really nice photos we'll see we'll see so this is a good idea to buy a used lens it's good uh, prime lens the good uh, zoom lens and this is a great thing and this is why I've decided to buy for a 250 euros that adapter and I'm deciding to buy LA EA5 because it's much better with my body than older type like LA EA3 or LA EA4 because I use that old screwdriver lens um, I'm not the definition of supersonic I've, I've used some super, the super one supersonic lens 40mm Samyang but it was good for the video but um, that old minute lenses are much more much more more familiar with, for me, with me and if you buy an old lens always look for the quality of a video always look for a for a stretches on a lens that's very important and it's a very important if you buy a used lens to buy a uv filter you will need to check the diameter on the end of the lens for example in the most minute lenses is 49 millimeter but not always, it's usually it's 49 mm, but sometimes it's uh, 55, like on a, um, for example, on a uh, Minolta 24 uh, to f2.8, it's uh, 49, on a uh, zoom lens uh, 3570, it's also 49, but, and on a, uh, that uh, 70, 7200, it's also 39 mm, but on Minolta 50 mm, F1.7, that's 55 diameter of a filter. And on that uh, uh, Minolta 2480, a macro, which I bought now, that's a 62 millimeter diameter. So this is also different. That's a good idea to buy um, UV filter for each of your lens. It's not very expensive. It's about three, four, sometimes five euros up to five euros price of that UV filter but it protects your 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 lens from a UV from UV. It protects your sensor in the body from UV and it protects your lens from scratches. It's cheaper uh, to buy a new filter for a five euros than to buy new to buy new new lens or uh, to repair your body which costs a few thousand euros yeah so it's a pretty good uh, idea to use that filter to protect your lens. Uh, I always recommend to use UV filter on each lens just to protect everything. And it works pretty nice. Because you also should buy a, a cover if it's broken or if there's no cover on the on front of the lens, you should buy a cover. But usually there's a cover with that lens. But that filter is very important to buy that filter. Uh, clean it, screw it, and don't remove it. That UV filter is a really important thing. And I think now we'll make some uh, photos, some videos with a macro shooting because we have a new lens and it's a new st another start for uh, video making.